outside our homes, well above the clouds, beyond the solar system, millions of years away at the speed of light, where stars make way for cities of stars. Does evolution also take place? The cosmos is filled with galaxies of different dimension, shape, and color. Spiral, irregular, barred, giant elliptical, dwarf, lenticular. Is this biodiversity an innate characteristic of outer space? Or is it the product of an active cosmic evolution of some kind? This one question has been controversial from the get-go. In the 1920s, Edwin Hubble drew a diagram called the tuning fork diagram because of its shape. It distinguishes between two main types of galaxies, ellipticals and spirals. Elliptical galaxies are blimps filled with old stars that move in no specific pattern. Spiral galaxies, on the other hand, are more like college dorms. They have an eye-popping disk filled with young stars, gas, and dust. At their core lay an exceedingly bright bulge reminiscent of disco balls. Galaxies are born from a womb of gas and dark matter that collapses under its own gravity. One theory is that ellipticals turn all their gas into stars right away, like a fetus eating up its placenta all at once. Spiral galaxies, however, take their time feeding on their placenta. Billions of years after they form, spirals are still converting their gas into newborn stars. So the gender of a galaxy, whether elliptical or spiral, may be determined by how fast the galactic moon is converted into stars. But, 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 but. Ellipticals contain old stars, and spirals young ones. Could it be, as Hubble thought, that spirals are modern galaxies, and ellipticals Neanderthals of the cosmos? At the base of Hubble's fork is a galaxy designated S0. It has the attributes of both spiral and elliptical galaxies. It's tempting to claim S0 galaxies to be the evolutionary missing link between spirals and ellipticals. What about barred spirals? Strangely, spirals themselves are subdivided into two groups, each a branch of Hubble's fork. On one branch, the spiral pattern is a plain twist. On the other branch, it sports a bar. Galactic bars are large inflows of gas. Possibly, it forms when so much gas falls onto a galactic disk that it becomes saturated, unstable, and starts funneling the gas inward. But it can also be triggered by the passing of a galaxy, which induces a tide, just like our moon does to our oceans. Except this occurs on a gigantic ocean of gas. Pictures show galaxies pulling and tugging at each other through the invisible strings of gravitation, some even colliding. But because galaxies are made mostly of empty space, the stars themselves are not actually colliding, though this can happen. The stars will get rearranged and the gas ripped out into intergalactic space or compressed into newborn stars. Some galaxies end up warped, asymmetrical, or with a tail. Others slowly merge in an orgy of star formation. We can't witness this process from beginning to end because it lasts billions of years. But what we do observe are many galaxies at different stages of interaction. Computer simulations recreate a simplified cosmos on screen. Each galaxy is represented by several thousand points. Those are not stars. You'd need 300 billion points just to represent the stars in the Milky Way galaxy. And so far, this isn't feasible. So the points are puzzle pieces of a galaxy. Two or more galaxies are made to approach, and the computer follows the path of each point by obeying the laws of physics. The computer then speeds up time, effectively reducing billions of years into the span of a few seconds. Because the universe is expanding, if we were to rewind its history, we would be shrinking space-time and bring galaxies closer together. So interactions in the early universe were much more frequent than in today's universe. Smaller units collided to make larger wombs that collapse to make galaxies. So evolution in outer space shaped the galactic population. In fact, galaxies can be divided into two groups. 
those that eat other galaxies, and those that get eaten. Does evolution occur whenever a system is brought together? Whether the members are amphibians, mammals, or galaxies. Is evolution, like gravitation, a universal law? The Sinusoidal Spaghetti is a scientific novel about an astronomer with two rats, his obsession and his psychiatrist. Read the first chapter online at spacegeek.org. One minute to auto-destruct. One minute to auto-destruct.